Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Virgo. Thank you Lord God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. So Virgo, how you are coming into the reading is triangle. All right. Uh, and freedom. Okay, so there could be infidelity. There's a third party. There's interference. It could be work. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be anyone. But someone feels like they're sharing you with another, or you feel like you're sharing someone else with another, another person, another thing, another group of people. Um, someone just wants to be carefree and have no ties or tethers to anything someone wants lack of response little responsibility lack of responsibility came out so i don't know if someone is not taking accountability or responsibility but someone wants freedom they don't want to be tied down in a commitment or have obligation not strong ones anyway but, you know they want it to be light and free and airy they could want that kind of connection with you or vice versa. This is what you're wanting with someone else, Virgo. Um, how your person is showing up and presenting in the reading is destiny and gossip. Okay, so the hand of destiny is taking its course here. It was a destined meeting for you and this person uh, here. And it's showing that... It says, let nature takes it, take its course. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. With destiny and gossip, um, lots of people are talking about the future or the lack of future your relationship has. Your person is presenting as a, as a person who just talks a lot, does a lot of talking, not a lot of action. Uh, they may even be keeping you confused to some capacity. Uh, other people around you who care about the the outcome of the situation or the relationship keeping them confused there's a an air of confusion because somebody's actions don't match with their words um their words and their actions are in direct uh contradiction with each other so you could be dealing with someone who they just confuse you they show you love they show you affection you feel like you're together and then the next day they tell you i just want to be friends Something of that nature. Or they just don't give you enough to... Or maybe you, you're always in assumption of. You're never in clarity. and You never get clear, concise answers. There's always you assuming. Or you just having to stay confused. Um, but des let destiny take its course here. Because um, the cards are saying that it's just not the right time. It's not the right time for something to happen. It doesn't mean that it won't ever happen. It's just not the right time. Maybe for you guys to come, maybe for you guys to come together, okay? Um, for it to be more solid, more stable. It's just not the right time. Someone is also presenting themselves um, as a liar. A liar, liar, okay? Um, not only are they confusing you with their words, but they may also just be doing this purposely and also just telling outright lies, okay? They have no intention of fulfilling whatever they are saying. Virgo, how you are coming to the reading is the seven of spades. Um, and I give you money that should be enough with the pathway card. Um... A new pathway of making money has been open to you, okay? Um, and you, and also a new pathway of just existing and doing. You may be saying, you know, I'm just going to go on my own way because this is too confusing. It's too up and down. It's too uh, much drama. And there may be loss of relationship and or friendship here. Or loss of friends. Or, or loss of the friendship vibe um, in terms of... Maybe you're just not going to be as amicable as you have been, as tolerant, as patient as you have been with the seven of spades coming out. 
um, with I give you money that should be enough, I think that plays into another narrative here, especially if we have a Virgo man who is um, already married or coupled or has a family. There could be someone on the outskirts of the relationship that he is giving money to, that he is paying for or paying for their pleasure, paying for their time. Um, he is uh, being deceptive in nature, a liar, liar. Um, this is another um, person that he goes, you know, he travels to or he sees them. It's like a, a two different lives. Somebody is living here. I don't know. It could be you, Virgo. It could be the person that you're coming to the reading for. There could be a lot of gossip surrounding your relationship, a lot of talk surrounding your relationship right now because other people are looking in from the outside and they're seeing that something is just not right. Um, even in all of that, there is an abundance of joy, fun, money. I don't know, but there is something in abundance here. Um, so you have something that you uh, can be happy for and look forward to. You, you, Virgo, if you're a Virgo man, or whomever you're coming to the reading for, may be presenting themselves like the courting man. He wants to date you exclusively, or he is open to date. He gets around and about. He is the man around the town. He knows all the spots to go to. He knows where to eat, where to drink, where to have fun. Um, he has lots of friends because, um, Virgo, your, your person is presenting as a community. He has lots of people that, that he relies on, that he has, that he has befriended, that he calls family. Um, he is in the community here and that's, uh, yeah, he is in the community here. This reduces to a three. So it definitely could be that, um, maybe you have to share your person with friends family it's always it always seems as if someone is vying for this person's attention and maybe you're having to to struggle to maintain or to even get this person's attention your person is asking will you have my baby i don't know if this has already happened or if it's going to happen um this person wants a tie to you or vice versa this is how you feel Virgo, about your person with the ace of hearts which talks about pregnancy uh the the cup the chalice is the wound and then spirit fills the wound with um you know the water the emotions the life force life source um there could be a a pregnancy announcement to your community your friend your family um also your person could be asking you to move in or do something new with them or take the relationship to another level yeah maybe even looking for a home or looking to move in together if things are not going your way right now just know that it's just not the right time this can be or this is a successful relationship there are just obstacles in the way and if this person is presenting themselves as wanting to have their freedom do know that that is short term okay that will change all right so this is your reading virgo i hope that it resonates for you if it does go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link in the description box below you can also get your own oracle reading like this one the link is below also thank you virgo many blessings to you take care